Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Dear friends, if you haven't subscribed my channel, then subscribe it now and also share it with your friends. Let's move to the problem 1-1 that is mechanics of material by Hibblers. The statement of problem is that the shaft is supported by a smooth thrust bearing at B. So this is a smooth thrust bearing and a general bearing at C. So at point C there is a general, uh, general bearing that supports this shaft. So what we have asked determine the resultant internal loading acting on cross section at E. So you have to find the internal loading at point E of the shaft. So first step of this problem is that you have to draw the free body, free body diagram. So uh, what we have to do in free body diagram. So we have to draw this figure and remove this bearing and to show its forces acting on this shaft due to this bearing so let me show you so the force that is acting due to this thrust bearing is the vertical force at point b player and there will be a horizontal force at this point b clear so, and, and the force at point c due to this journal bearing will be only vertical force let me denote this force is b y clear this force is b x and this force is c y clear after drawing the free body diagram we will only need to compute this force c y by writing the moment equation moment equation of equilibrium about point b we can also select this portion as well about point e but here we are going to take the uh, we are going to find out the cy so how we will take uh, how we will get cy so we have to take the moment equation that sum of all moment about point b is equal to zero so when you take this moment about point and B is equal to zero so you can see the force that is uh, producing movement is CY and the distance between the CY and point B is 8 feet so CY into perpendicular distance is 8 also we are taking counterclockwise as positive so you can see this CY force is producing a counterclockwise movement that is why this is taken as positive the other force that is producing the movement about point b is this force 400 and in perpendicular distance is 4 feet and it is producing a again a counterclockwise movement so it will be also positive so plus 400 into perpendicular distance is 4 feet Now the third force that is producing movement about point B is this 800 pound. So 800 and the perpendicular distance of this force from point B is 12 feet. And this is producing clockwise movement so it will be minus 800 into perpendicular distance is 12. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you calculate uh, this by using calculator so you will get cy is equal to 1000 pound now you have the value of cy you can find the internal loading at point e so how you will find so let me draw the uh, section at point E. so when you section at point E you will have to draw this right side so I am going to draw the right side so this is the shaft clear this is point E this portion is point E or you can we can also write it over here that this portion is point E clear this is point C 
this portion is point C and at point C there is a load that is acting Cy is equal to 1000 pound clear and at point D there this is a point D clear so at point D there is a load of 800 pound when you cut it at, at point E so definitely there will be a shear force that will be acting that is VE clear there will be horizontal force NE and there will be a movement at, at point E and that movement is ME clear also you can see from C to E this distance is 4 feet so I can write it 4 feet 4 feet and from C to D this is also 4 feet now I have to apply the moment equation that there are three moment equations sum of all force along x direction should be equal to zero in this direction this is positive so you can see from the free body diagram of this section E C D that is shown over here the, the only force is N E in horizontal direction so N E and this is in negative direction so minus N E is equal to 0 because there is no other force acting on horizontal direction so it means that N E will be equal to 0 next step is that we have to uh, apply the second equation that sum of all force along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so you can see here there is one force acting upward is VE the second force is CE and the third force is 800 pound so the V is upward so I will take V is upward that is positive the second force is CY that is acting upward so it will be also positive plus 1000 pound clear minus other force is 800 that is acting downward so their sum must be equal to 0 it means that VE is equal to VE plus 1000 minus 800 will be 200 is equal to 0 so what we get is that VE is equal to minus 200 pound now what this minus means that we have taken the VE direction upward but here VE is equal to minus 200 pound so it means that our assumed direction of VE is wrong and it will be in the downward direction now the third point is that sum of all movement about point E is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise as positive so you can see that uh, movement about point E is taken as sum of all the movement about point E is taken as 0 so only the force that is producing movement about point E is this force and this force so I will draw uh, I will write it 1000 and the perpendicular distance is 4 feet since it is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive and this force 800 is producing a clockwise movement about point E so minus 800 into perpendicular distance is 4 and 4 8 feet so it will be 8 feet plus there is a external movement that is acting here at point E due to section cutting off section so it will be again it is in clockwise direction clear so it will be minus me their sum must be equal to 0 now if you solve for me so you will get, get movement about point E is equal to minus 2400 LB into feet 
or you can also write it as minus 2.40 kips into feet. Now you can see that movement uh, about point E is already taken as negative but our answer is movement is minus 2400 pound into feet. So it means that our assumed direction of movement is also wrong and it will be in the counterclockwise direction. So in this uh, I will conclude my results that at section E that it, at section E internal loading is that shear force is minus 200 pound clear and the movement is minus 2.40 kips into feet. The force here will be acting the shear force will be acting downward clear VE will be downward and the movement will be counterclockwise movement about point I hope you have learned from this video. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting and keep supporting me.